Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. In this video, I'm going to show you a little trick you could do with the adjustment brush. Now, I covered part of this in a previous video, but I've added a new wrinkle to it. So make sure you stay to the end. All right, we're gonna jump right into it. I'll beg you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and share and like the video and all that stuff at the end of the video. Now, what I often like to do when I photograph a waterfall is I like to brighten up the waterfall and I'll simply use a brush and add some exposure to the waterfall. Now, in the past, I showed you a little trick where you could just do this in one click. To do it, we're just gonna make the image display smaller. We're gonna go over to the left-hand panel and we're gonna make it like one to 16. So right here at the top, so it's a really small image. Now. We're going to open up the adjustment brush. I'm going to add exposure to it and I'm going to turn auto masking on and then I'm going to get a really big brush and just have the brush cover the entire image. And I'm going to make sure that that plus sign is right over the waterfall. And I'm just going to click once and you can see it brightened up the waterfall. Now it brightened up way too much, but you get the idea. But it's also, as you can see, it's kind of brightening up other parts as well. Well, we could further refine this. Now I'm going to bring this image back to its uh, original size. To do that, I'm going to hold in the space bar and then just click on the image. All right, so now we have the image and we brightened up the waterfall and some areas around it. We could further refine this with the range mask. Now I covered this before too. So we could go down here and we could get the luminance range mask and we're going to get on the brush or I'm getting, yeah, sorry, get the eyedropper and I'm just going to click right on the waterfall. So that refined it a little more. Well, here's the little wrinkle. Below this, I'll put the eyedropper away. Below this, we have these two sliders and you could adjust the range of what is being adjusted with the sliders by just moving them. Well, you can just come in and kind of move them around and look at the image. Another thing you could do is hold the Alt or option key and it's alt if you have a PC, option if you have a Mac. Click on let's say the left hand slider in this range area and as soon as you do that the screen turns black and white. Kind of a negative, right? Whatever is white is being uh, uh, the uh, is getting the adjustment applied to it. Whatever is black is not. So we could come in here and we could kind of refine this more visually so we could see exactly what's being refined or what's being adjusted. Then we could go to the smoothness slider and do the same thing, holding the alter option key in and move this around and see what, you know, try to get it. So it's mainly just affecting what I want it to affect. Now, the sad thing is masking in Lightroom is pretty primitive compared to other applications, but this is what we have to work with. So, this does help, I think, narrow it down and help you better apply this, um, in this case, brightening up that waterfall. So there's before and there's after. So it's still brightening up a little bit of other places, but this will hopefully help you better um, adjust where you want to adjust when you use the adjustment brush. This also works with the color mask as well. With the color mask, you will have to uh, use the eyedropper first and then come in here. It has one slider, hold that alter option key in and you could see, you could come in here and get it. So it's mainly doing the waterfall. Put the brush or put the eyedropper away and you could see. I think those two on top of each other is making it, uh, posterizing it a little bit. So I really don't like that effect. So I'd probably start over by deleting it. I'll add exposure. I'll go over to the left-hand panel, go to one's a 16 mode, click on the waterfall once. I have auto mask on now. I'll hold the space bar in, click on the image to zoom back out. Now, um, I'll just go right to the luminance mask. And I don't need to use the eyedropper when you're doing the luminance mask. You will have to use it with the color mask. But with the luminance mask, you do not have to. So then I could come in here and move these, this kind of broken slider around 
first and then move the smoothness slider to better refine it to where I want it. And hopefully that helps you better apply a brush exactly where you want it in Lightroom. If you could do me a favor, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and make sure you click on that little bell so you get updates. If you know of anyone that will like this video, please share it. And if you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And finally, follow me on Instagram. I am at Anthony Morganti on Instagram. And in the description below this video, I'll have a link to my Instagram so you could find it very easily. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.